Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This tutorial is going to be on JFlex, which is a lexical analyzer generator for Java and it is written in Java. So basically you have to write the code in a .jflex file and then the and then the compiler will and then java it will be converted to a .java file and then it will be run uh, as usual and then also you can put up an input file which it could be in a .txt format or .csv format any 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 way you want and then the and then it would it would just basically run the program and compile it that's it so uh, this tutorial is going to be only a basic beginning uh, that, that is how to get started with jflex so yeah so let's get on with it the first thing that you need to know that the structure of the jflex program is typically like this you have the user code here and then there will be uh, there, there, there are like three divisions to the code the user code is here the options and declarations are here and the lexical rules are here uh, and then it, it's separated by these two percent percent signs that's it so option in user code you basically write how to import how to, what kind of packages you would want to import like in java you would import java dot uh, import java dot util dot scanner or java dot util dot star or uh, or java dot io anything so you could import you could put the import declarations on the user code in the options and declarations you actually put the proper i don't know why it's written like this it, this is taken from the manual but i would say that in options and declarations you put the actual code that you would do the java code that is and also you would put macro definitions and in the third part in the lexical rules you just put the rules and the actions associated with it. so in let's just see uh, okay in options and declare uh, what's a macro macro definition and we would also see what kind of keywords are set for jflex so these are some built-in methods and fields uh, there is int yychar which just represents the number of characters that is in in, a te in an input text file suppose you have an input text file something like this uh, like this wait so you have an input file where you have a b b b some some strings this is just an example and then you would want to extract you would want to know how many uh, you would want to know how many characters are processed uh, so it, it just returns a number then how many returns the number of characters that is the number of characters that you have processed since the beginning of the of processing the file and then there's yy line that is how many line breaks are there since the beginning so suppose you have there are like two line breaks here since the beginning so that's what the that, that's what it would return and then there's into yy column uh, which represents the number of characters from the current line and then there's yy text which is the most important one you just extract the text uh, that matches your regular expression like you write a regular expression and you want you want to you want to match that pattern to the input and whatever pattern is matched you extract the text and save it somewhere maybe save, maybe save it in the action associated within the action you say you do all the java programming stuff and in the int yy length you just have the length of the string that you're extracting and then in yy state you just return the current state yy begin you just set the current state i'm just going to be showing examples of the first well except the last two i'm going to be showing examples of all all the built-in methods right so there are also some directives like just like in java you will write public public class this and public static void main something like that so this is like this is th these are the syntaxes for writing the same stuff in jflex there is person class and then you write the class name implements where you uh, implement an interface and for extends you just extend it from a parent class there's also public which makes the class public there's standalone which just expects the name of the input line on the co uh, common line which you would because if you would want to generate you would if you would want to you know like um, if you would want to check the, if, if you want to feed an input file and then match the match your regular expression pattern with it then you would need to write this keyword called standalone and then char and column these are important these are needed when you would want when you're using yy char or yy column and you need to activate these you can't just use it just like that you need to activate declare it in the beginning so uh, char person char person column are used and then for activating uh, yy line you would use percent line these are just for activating or initializing uh, that you're going to use these uh, these keyword these methods in your program okay the main code that you that goes here that that you java code that you would want in the beginning like the things that you would want to happen at the start of the program that goes here and the code is written like this and you can't like change the syntax these formats need to be same the braces should be like this and then the code will be in the next line you can't just start writing from here see as you can see you can't just start writing from here. you can't write like this you have to write like you have to follow these rules 
and then in it is just initializing whatever uh, uh, whatever variables that you declared here you can initialize them with a value this these codes are written here it's it's not that important but, well uh, actually it is <laughs> it is really important if you want to give a value suppose int y equals to zero so you you would just put the values over here initialize it over here macro definitions are the most important ones suppose you have a regular expression you would want to match this now macro definitions are more easier to understand it makes it human re readable if, like a regular expression like this it's not human it's, it will be just readable to you as a programmer but not to um, not to a human who's just try, trying to read the code so that's why you use macro definitions so this regular expression represents a white space this regular expression represents a letter right and the, uh, Right, so let's, let's go to the main code. This is a syntax. This is a simple code that would just match this pattern, match this regular expression pattern in the, your input file, and then this is the corresponding action associated with that pattern. So the, this is the this is uh, this is a simple code that would just basically what it's doing is this is a pattern you want to check if the if your input file contains this kind of regular regular expression pattern if it does you basically just uh, print it print where you found the match where you would, where you found some uh, string that that matches this pattern and then print the text I mean extract the text and show it extract the line print the line number that you found it in and the column number that is in the in the column number is basically just the number of characters processed in the current line so that will return that will be returned here and as you can see since we're using yy line and yy column we are uh, initializing here this percent line and person column which is basically meaning which basically means that you are activating these functions or methods uh, these built-in methods you're going to use these built-in methods in your program that's why you did this and there's another oh yeah right so there's also slash n and uh, which means space right so uh, sorry line which means the next line so when you get the next line you do nothing that is just a comment you don't need to put this comment it's just for your understanding and when you get any other symbol other than these you do nothing the reason that these were put is because if you had just this then the other parts of the code will also be printed but since you put it's like more like an if else function or a switch case so if you found this do this if you found this do this and if you found any other symbol other than these these you do this so basically we're just doing nothing this is done to not echo the other parts of the code along with your matched part right so um, like the, here you can see the macro definitions are used like this you just declare a variable it's like like declaring a variable storing it this thingy in a variable and then after that you use it like this you put a curly brace beside the name uh, like you enclose the name inside a curly brace and then you just do the same as before right and then this is how you run a jflex file now if you want to install if you want to know how to install jflex file i'm going to be linking an article here made by my friend and it's a really useful and thorough article on how to install jflex in your in a windows pc um so i'll link it below to and if you want to check it out right so this is the this is how you run it you just write jflex and then your jflex file name all these codes that we saw these are going into a jflex dot jflex file name file and then you just and as usual you run the java file you just write java c uh, whatever whatever class name you've given here this is the class name class name for this was search so it will be a search.java file would be generated after you execute this command a search.java file will be generated so you just write java c search.java and then java search and then your input file so suppose input.txt let's run a program and see how it goes if you have used a terminal before this would be easy for you how to understand how uh, how to run these kind of programs if you're used to with an ID which I think is uh, okay whatever I don't like using IDs I love using terminals and uh, text editors so this is how you would so this is a simple Java program uh, this is the example that we've seen there let's just run this example first and then we're going we'll be learning another example to uh, elaborate Right, so as you can see, I named the uh, there is a name class search, and then there's sta it's a standalone because I'm going to be inputting an input.txt file, and the same as usual. Let's just run it. So let me just go to the directory. It's in my downloads, and it's in my jflex jflex two. Oh, sorry, it's not in my downloads. It's in my desktop. Sorry. So cd cd desktop. And cd jplex right 
so the file that I'm going to be running is example 2 so jflex example 2 dot jflex so as you can see this is what it, this is what's happening NFA DFA and then 11 states okay so writing the code to J, uh, search on Java so search on Java file is generated so let's just run the Java file as before so Java C J, um, search dot Java it's compiled compile compile oh it takes forever yeah so it's compiled and then Java search just search no dot Java nothing and then my input file so my input is input 2 dot txt so we found a match see this was a txt file that I've shown in the beginning a b a b some 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 uh, string example string and then I found a match a a b a b b which matches my regular expression at line one column zero so at line one column zero right so this is th that this is the output that we're getting these this output is a simple java code as you as you saw it's just simple system dot print f or system dot print line and we're extracting the text here which is a a b b b plus and then we're extracting the y y line here which is the line number and column number column zero so let's go and move on to another example this is this was shown in the slide so let's just go to another bigger example right so this program what it does oh I forgot to mention a really important keyword so in the slide you saw that there was this person code percent braces where you would write the code that you that would be done in the beginning of your Java Java program so you have list suppose I'm declaring an array list okay an array list where I would store numbers so this is defined here and then let's just rename the class to uh, maybe arrays array um, manipulation it's a big name so whatever <laughs> so array manipulation and yeah so I'm activating line here column here well I don't need to because I'm not using it here but there's no harm in activating it right so and then there's a I define a macro definition for numbers where this is a regular expression for extracting numbers from any input file so let me open an input file right, so let me open a folder this is the wrong folder What's it called? JFlex tutorial. Right, so this is the right one. Okay, so I have input. This is a sample code, a C plus uh, plus C code, and then there's also um, this is the program for it. So what I'm basically trying to do is I'm just going to be declaring an array, and whenever I find keyword, uh, whenever I find numbers, uh, sorry, numbers. So whenever I find, let me just edit it, right? So whenever I find numbers in my code, like for example, in the code there is, um, there is a equals to b equals to five. Five is a number. Six is a number. Two point zero is a float. This is these are integers. This is a float, and uh, six point zero is a float. So whenever I find these, I'll extract these and store it, store in them in an array. So this is just a simple program. So, um, if you would have to write this kind of program, you know, compile, uh, write this kind of program to process a code and then write it in Java, you know how many lines of code it will take. But with this, the, your life is much easier. <laughs> so, basically what I'm trying to do is do here is, I declared an array in the beginning. This is done the, just because I'm, whenever I receive, whenever I uh, find a number, uh, whenever I match a pattern to a number, I add it to the array list. And then, percent EOF this is a really important code this is what what basically it does is whatever code is inside this percent EOF scope it means that after your whole code is over after after in processing the whole input file not the code I mean after processing the total input file which is input.txt after you finish processing this whatever actions you're going to do after the whole thing is processed huh, that time you're just going to be um, that part of the code goes here sorry Right, that part of the code goes here in the percent EOF scope. In percent EOF scope, you're just going to be doing the things that you would do at the end of all the processing that's done after processing everything. So, uh, this program, what it does is I would extract all the numbers and add it, right? So, this is the associated action. So, this is the Java action with it. So, whenever I find numbers which matches this regular expression pattern, whenever I find numbers pattern, 
then you will just add them into my array list what would you add the extracted text so extracted string so 6.0 will just take it as a string we'll consider all of the input stuff here as a string all of these are string tokens right like jflex what it does is it actually accesses it actually processes every token tokenizes everything so if you find this token and this token and separated by this uh, dot point or if this doesn't have any point if, it, if it's just a normal digit then you would extract them and you would just store them in an array list so i stored them in an array list uh, extract the text store them in an array list and then uh, at the end after processing the whole input file what you would do is what you would do is just print the numbers that's it so let's run it let's run it and see how it goes so let me just change it here array i don't know it's just number extraction number extraction this will be the java file that will be generated so let's run it so jflex tutorial um so jflex this is the command jflex example dot jflex so it's done I'm writing the code to number extraction dot java so you can see it's not no more extraction whatever <laughs> doesn't matter so no more extraction is the file name that's generated as you can see lots of lots of code right but jflex makes our life easier so you just yeah right so after that let's do the usual compile it to the java program number just press tab that's where it came uh, if you don't know how to use a uh, terminal right so java i like calling it terminal because i hate windows uh, i don't like command prompt so i'm just calling it terminal anyway so java and then java number extraction Ugh okay number extraction not, not a class just the name and then the input file which is input.txt so we extract all the numbers 5 6 2.0 6.0 .0. these are all extracted and shown at the end that's why percent uf is used for just doing everything after you're done processing the input file percent scope whatever you want to call it you just do everything in the beginning of what you would do like in the beginning of a program this is done in the end of the program and this is done in the middle as you can see import import stuff goes here and then you write the person person and then all the declarations and all the actual code goes here and then the lexical rules go goes here after this second person person so this is the whole tutorial on how to run a jflex program just getting started with it and uh, i hope this was helpful and please subscribe and give a thumbs up